remember this remember this mess well I'm gonna do something about it stay tuned hey everyone this is Amber and today we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, this <laughs> because it's a lot and it hasn't really been working for me and it's not necessarily because it's messy because um, my life is messy and it always has been and so I'm not really that concerned and I don't I no longer think of mess as a moral failing anymore because I think that's just a bunch of crap that we can just throw away because uh, we've got enough going on in our lives, right? Um, so it's not so much the mess, but it's more the layout of my space. And I love this. Like, this is wonderful. Everything you see here is lovely. I'm happy that with that. Like, that's great. But the way that my workshop is set up has just kind of been like a slow accumulation of stuff without any thought whatsoever. And I actually find that the way that I feel based upon the sources of the noises coming from different places because I, I have this like auditory thing um, has been kind of unsettling and I think slowly um, sort of just contributing to how I feel in the space. And so I'm interested in creating a space that is maybe more sensory friendly for me, especially since I work with um, embroidery machines and when all four of them are going, it's... Uh, it can be a lot of noise. Um, sometimes it's actually soothing to me, like I actually kind of like the white noise from it. Um, but then the moment someone opens a door and I'm like, <laughs> so um, someone comes in, they interrupt because I can't hear them, embroidery machine stuff. Um, it can be really off-putting and yeah. So let's dive in I'm gonna show you like how I actually like put thought into where I want things to be um, and like how it's been making me feel and how I, I hope to feel better in this space not just one area but like all of it because I this is where I want to work and I want to grow and um, yeah I just want my space to reflect that I actually did make some plans and then of course I lost them. So we're gonna start fresh. Um, here's kind of the idea of what it is right now. Yeah, like that. Uh, so uh, let me just make a, like a very basic idea of what it is that I think I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not going to be taking measurements, um, I am not, just not, I'm just going to wing it, um, and I'm guessing right now how things are going to fit. Uh, and I've just always been the kind of person who just has to do it instead of trying to write it down and plan it out. Um, I'm just, I'm, I just am that way. And also, like, I think just from having kids, um, like, you have zero time to think. So I I just don't plan anymore. I just do. But so, so this is the small amount of planning I'm doing, right? Which is basically just laying out the general stuff. And that, the, the workshop has these beautiful windows. Um, so I love that about it. I always love a very nicely lit, um, sunshiny workspace. Um, so the first thing I'm doing here is I'm setting up the workshop table, work table, whatever. Right now it's just an accumulation of crap. Um, I'm going to put it as far, like, I'm going to put it so that I can see the door, sort of, um, so that I'm facing the door and I'm facing anybody who's coming in. And for some reason with my auditory stuff, when things are behind me, it's just completely freaks me out. So um, right now I'm putting myself in what I consider a place of power. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put all of my machines up against the far end of the workshop. And I think that this is going to be a better setup. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my ironing board now that I think about it. Um, hmm. 
okay, uh, no, no, uh, that was gonna be the, uh, post, postal station stuff, like, packages, packaging and stuff, but, uh, no, I think that's gonna have to be the ironing board. I mean, again, I'm not, this is not final. Nothing's final. Um, it's probably, this is how I think it's going to work in my head. So for now, we're gonna put the iron there. Um, and then I'm planning on actually doing um, wallpaper behind the work table. It's just gonna be so pretty and I'm so excited. And there I am, there I am right there. Um, all of the noises are in front of me. I think that's going to be a much better situation. I mean, I love it, but half the wall is done and there is zero matching up going on here at all. And I am like out of time for today. There's always that one thing I add to a project that I never think is gonna take that long. And then it ends up draining my energy completely. This is it. I'm gonna do it though, I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be a lot of floral but I think I can handle it. Okay, day two. I have a little bit more wallpaper to do. Um, I'm wearing the same thing as I did yesterday for cohesion, but that's not really why. Let's just go with it though. <laughs> um, and I brushed my hair and um, let's just gonna keep going with kind of just assembling or moving the mess to different areas of the room. For some reason I thought I needed a turkey baster thing. Is that what it's called? No. It's the thing you cooked a turkey in. I mean, I could have, I could have tons of people over with this. This is how much stuff, how many cups were in that pile of crap on my workshop table. I mean, this is looking way better. I'm like, I got all of my stuff here, and then I've got all of my stuff here. I mean, yeah, like, I'm really excited about this. I think this is better. It feels more homey now. Like, I feel I'm home now. I mean, it's in my home, but I feel more home at home in my workspace. I also 
threw out like four or five bags of trash. So yeah, that was basically an entire pandemic's worth of trash. And I still have a full trash can from like way before that that I need to empty out, but this is feeling better. Thanks for joining me on my journey of, I don't know, like throwing stuff in different places and sticking stuff on the wall. <laughs> and um, Stay tuned for our next show, which is, it sounds like I'm performing. Stay tuned for the next show. It's coming in, uh, I think there's a matinee, I know. Um, uh, the next video I'm going to be doing is another Wreck-It Regency for the stays that I just finished. And I finally figured out how to keep the busk from popping out, so now I can finally do something about that. <laughs> like, as far as video. So, take care. I already love how this looks behind me. It's like, yes. Yay. <laughs> um, bye!